This is the Utah Raptor. As one of the largest dromaeosaurids to date, Utah Raptor was 20 feet long and stood up to 5 feet tall. They sported a signature sickle claw that was 8 inches long and was used to tear into its prey. Alright everybody, this is the updated Utah Raptor mod here. You see they really did a couple of changes here. It looks way better already, I can tell just looking at the face and the eyes here. They don't have those tufts at the top with this basic, you know, default Utah Raptor. But let's go through the subspecies right quick. We first have this original variation. You can see the tail feathers here on the back. It's got them on the arms too. No ear tufts. Creation two, <laughs> beard only. Clearly you can see there's just no feathers on the top. They're right here on the neck. Variation three here has the brow feathers. That's what we're used to on the original Utah Raptor model. And it looks pretty good here. It still has a bit of a difference because of the way the face is shaped now, but it's still pretty good. Variation four has neck feathers which really just makes it look like the bearded one. Honestly, I wouldn't say there's too much of a difference here. Variation five has full feathers, so brow feathers, neck feathers, back of the head, behind the arm, and the tail feathers here. Then we have slim, which you can see there's no feathers on the top or the bottom. We still have the tail and the shoulder feathers, but they have that really long, elongated snout and jaw here. Version seven is stocky. It's really just the same as the default, but much thicker. Over here, you can see it in the chest and the tail right here, and a little bit of thighs. Then back to our default. So let's see the female skin right quick. Barely any difference. So it's like a little bit more brown. But other than that, exactly the same. Let's go through the calls right quick. First up, we have broadcast. <coughs> Very much like the original. A little bit deeper though. I like it. Two call. Mm, I like the animation change for it. It's a little bit more full bodied. Threaten. <coughs> you got a little bit of jazz hands there with the up towards tail. That's very nice. Four call. <coughs> I like how it's kind of play like a little bit. It's a little funny to look at rather than like scared for me. It looks a bit more panicky, which I guess can be scared. Talk. Okay, so it's not that like hissing kind of like talk anymore. It's more of a drum noise, hum noise. Hum noise is better. It's more of a hum noise. Shake. Okay, you start with a head wiggle, a body wiggle, and then you flap the wings at the end. Very nice. I need better shaky motes, and that's definitely one of them. Look around. Oh, okay. The further head tilt is much better. It's still pretty much similar to the original Utah Raptor, so not too much difference there besides that uh, scratch. You get to preen both feathers and then a little wiggle at the end. That's very nice. And mystery. Oh, I don't know if that's like a, a mating <laughs> ritual, courting ritual, I'll say. Um, but it was very short. I wish it was a little bit longer. And then our invite is the same as the two call. Okay, and here is our baby model. Look at him. He's looks way different now than the original baby model for the Utah Raptor. It looks a lot more like a bald baby eagle chick if you've ever seen those. Like a lot fluffier. Not super super fluffy but still much different than the original model. Let's go through the calls right quick. First up is broadcast. Ooh, that's cute. I like it. A nice different uh, pitch shift there. Two call. Oh, I like that one too. It's very cute. Threaten. Angry boy. Work off. <laughs> like, don't eat me. <laughs> Talk. Yeah, there you go. The little drumming noise. But a small drum. Shake. Head wiggle, body wiggle, tail, feathers. Look around. Very curious, very inquisitive. Scratch. Printing both feathers. Slight wiggle. Mystery. Yeah, the bow with a little wiggle, kind of like the courting display. All right, let's see a couple of the baby animations. First is our walk. 
It's basically like a slow down run right here. Then our actual run. Whoa, those legs are moving. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he looks good. He looks really good. I like it. Let's see our jump. We jump pretty high for a baby, which was always like Utah's specialty. Uh, sit. Yeah, very bird-like. Sleep. We lay on the side and we curl up. It's very cute. Then we get up. Side wiggle. Okay. And very nice. All right, here is our adult model. We've already seen it, but he looks really good. I love how this remodel is gone. It's one of the better remodels, I think. Uh, but let's go through our animations right quick. First is our walk. Oh, he's got a little sachet sway to him that I didn't see in the baby. You can only really see it from behind. Nope, you can see it from front too. <laughs> he looks funny this way. <laughs> I'm dead. Run. It's a lot smoother when he runs. He doesn't sachet as much. Our turn radius there. It's very kind of wide running. See if we still have our jump. We do our sit. Basically, like we're sitting on eggs. Sleep. Curl up. The tail kind of disappears into the ground because it's a little uneven, but that's okay. Still looks cute. Get up. Okay. See our crouch. Looking good. Not bad at all. Crouch walk. The feathers are held up off the ground. Looks pretty natural. Let's do our precise movement. Here's our turn in place. Uh, I think that's a decent speed. It's not super fast, but it's not super slow either, but it could be depending on who you're fighting. Here's our back. To the left. Side shuffle to the right. Side shuffle. Here's our drinking animation. There we go. Not bad. This is pretty much the same as what it was before. Just quick sips. Doesn't really look around, but takes a minute to breathe. Here's our swim animation. Yeah, you can really see those feathers getting put to work. It's very slow though. Speed swim, slightly faster, but not great. Don't get caught in the water. Here's our disturbed burrow animation. Basically, we're just using the claw here to dig out the entrance to the burrow. All right, and here's our eating animation. You got a foot on it, the toes wiggling, takes a bite. Basically the same. There's that tear though on the second half, which is a little bit different. But other than that, not too different from the first version of this animation. All right, let's go through these skins right quick. This is the default female skin right here. So it has that little bit of brown. Then we have albino, melanistic, rover. Ooh, I like that one. Wispy. Barberry, Rust, Cornelius, Chickadee, Ruby, Taito, ooh, Taito Owl, love that. Barrel, Tegu, Cinnabar, Tawny, Jaguar, Birch, and Redtail. All of these skins are fantastic. I really love like almost all of them. Really, really, really good. Let's check out the abilities right quick. See our basically extra senses over here. We have plus 5% attack damage, minus 50% jump cost, and 50% acceleration. That could be good if they still have the amount of stamina loss that they had before because they used to cost a lot to jump. We have two head slots here. We have bite causes medium damage and then a heavy bite, a strong but delayed bite. So kind of like the Spletosaurus right now. Then for our senses, we have out for blood increases speed by 2.5% when in combat. That's really good. Fleeting crouch. Crouching for three seconds will grant increased stamina recovery rate until on crouching, able to move while on crouched this is really really good because our stamina regen is not good at all it's very slow lone hunter gain 10 percent increased attack damage when not in a group could be good if you want to go solo all up to you front and limb we have claw attack a claw attack that causes medium damage increases the bleed rate of the target so i'm assuming that means they should take more bleed damage overall unless that means 
the bleed heal rate was what they were supposed to put there i'm not entirely sure metabolism hyper carnivore only able to eat meat food drains much lower and then scavengers which lets you eat meat fish carrion and bones with faster food and water drain then for a hide we have standard which does nothing Thick plumage, which increases bleed and venom resistance probably by the standard 30%. Slick feathers, bucking and struggling while carrying will now drain enemy stamina 30% faster. And then airfoil, increases jump control and lowers jump cost. That could also be pretty good. Legs, we have leap, increases jump height and decreases fall damage. You have a lot of abilities to put towards your jump ability i'm noticing so that might be a big thing to keep in mind long distance runner reduces sprinting stamina drain by 15 percent i'll probably use that just that's what i usually do back limb we have puncturing kick causes medium damage and removes armor from the target that could be interesting i don't know if that's temporary or how that's gonna go winding kick winding kick causes low damage increases sprinting stamina drain on the target that could be good too tail we have back dodge quickly back step in the opposite direction i remember this move it's good that they still have it and then tail fan activate for a quick forward boost of fan that is a little bit different i don't remember utah having it correct me if i'm wrong voice we have bark increases the attack of all raptors in your group by eight percent within 30 meters for 20 seconds able to stack up to 10 times short period but could be useful if there's a lot of raptors with you shocking screech cancels active healing speed and damage buffs oh that's really good that's the one i really like i can cancel all the buffs on the other creatures around me all right let's go through the ability animations right quick first up we have bite very simple it doesn't go far down so you really have to focus on aiming here okay and then we have heavy bites yeah just a little bit slower but basically the same thing has a long cooldown from what i can tell Next we have Claw Attack. Oh, it's just a forward rake. That's not too bad. I don't wouldn't say I love the animation though. Yeah, I'd rather it be like a left white swipe kind of thing, but it's okay. Next we have Back Dodge. Ooh, that was quick. Ooh, Jesus, that scared me. One more time, Back Dodge. It's very fast animation right there. You go quite a bit of distance too. Next we have Puncturing Kick. You have to kind of jump to do the kick first, but it's kind of hard because you have a small window to time the kick with the jump. So I don't know. It's only active for like a small part of that entire jump. So a little bit hard to do. Okay, for winding kick, you kind of have to run with it and then do it. So it's not really something you can like just stand alone and kick. You have to be in motion when doing it. One more time from the front so you guys can see it easy peasy next we have tail fan which is a very short burst i don't know how useful that is so if i'm running and i do it it's a very short burst of speed i don't think it's that useful i think if it lasted a little bit longer it'd be a little bit more helpful just considering how big utah raptor is already but you know that's up to them then we have our voice abilities first one is bark oh that was a short kind of squealy attack increase buff. And then lastly, we have Shocking Screech. And that one gets rid of all the buffs to other creatures around you. So definitely use this one. I would love to use this one. It will help a lot for those creatures that increase their bleed or their damage or their speed. Anything like that automatically canceled. So definitely use that one all right and that's about it for utah raptor here my opinions on it is it's still pretty good it still looks great the model is amazing i love the little touches they did here and there there's a bit of tweaks to some of the animations that are way better than they are some of them are the same as well you have decent speed and decent power but your stamina regen is slow and your swim speed is slow so definitely don't get caught in the water and definitely pay attention to your stamina Usage. but other than that i still think utah raptor is pretty much a good pick a good solid pick for a mod definitely check this one out as it came out today